Hello, my friends. Welcome to story time. Let's read today's story together. The pot pot fish cleans up the ocean. By Deborah Dyson. There is a problem that needs solving, but Mr. Fish and all his friends don't know what to do. Can they learn about its cause and restore their ocean view? Let's read it together. The ocean is amazing. Mr. Fish's green was wide. The beautiful surroundings left him wonderstruck inside. His head was full of happy, and his heart was full of awe. But his smile sank away when he turned around and saw <gasps> a big, big mess. Whatever could it be? But he. Couldn't really tell, so he talked with a friend who had noticed it as well. There's a problem that needs solving, and I don't know what to do, but I'm going to find some answers. Would you like to join me too? Absolutely. Said Miss Shimmer as she grabbed a few supplies. They'd travel to the mystery mess and see with their own eyes. Swimming off, they were enchanted by the ocean, big and bright. But looming in the distance was the dark, dismal sight: a big, big mess. What's it made of? They both wondered, and they pondered this out loud. Around them, others gathered in a small but growing crowd. There's a problem that needs solving, and we don't know what to do. But we are going to find some answers. Would you like to join us too? Count us in," said Mr. Seahorse, and he powered up his rank. Enthusiasm bubbled. Yes, the group was getting big. They jetted through the ocean in a peaceful sort of bliss, but the thing that stretched before them. Was impossible to miss. A big, big mess. Who will fix it? Fish were asking, hoping someone else would know. There was lots of conversation as they traveled with the flow. There's a problem that needs solving, and we don't know what to do. But we are going to find some answers. Would you like to join us too? All as one," said Mrs. Squid, as she swished away some junk. The group continued forward toward the nearing pile of gunk. They reached the mystery mess. They took measurements and samples. They made notes and they did research. They found similar examples. When everyone was finished, they assembled to discuss. They came to one conclusion. The problem is us. We made the big, big mess. They froze in disbelief. Then they all began to shout. Feeling troubled and uneasy, and some began to pout. Were they stuck with this forever? Would it worsen? 
Would it grow? Mr. Fish was worried too. But there's one thing that I know. It's awful that we caused it. But this bad news can be good, for it means that we can solve it. If we all agree, we should. Silence filled the ocean. Their future was at stake. It was a moment of decision. But which one would they make? A big, big yes! We, we can, can do, do it. it! Positively, yes and yeah. So they all pitched in together and they cleaned the ocean up. They gathered up the garbage with the help of everyone. They worked hard to fix and remedy the damage that they'd done. Then they talked about new habits, how to travel with less trace and reduce their use of plastic and put trash into its right place. Problems have solutions, so we learn what we can do. Together, we're the answer. Would you like to join us too? Hey my friends, Mr. Fish and his friends are counting on you. Even if you don't live anywhere near a beach, there are many things you can do to help clean up and protect the ocean. Thank you for listening to my story. Till next story, keep reading!